Okay, this is our test setup for the Retro 75. This is an L-Craft dummy load, the L-Craft directional coupler, which we have connected to the Tektronix scope, and we have an L-Craft tone generator. This is the Retro 75, and we're feeding the mic connector directly with the tone generator. Let's go ahead and turn the scope on. And the scope is on. And then let's go ahead and clear the welcome menu. And we'll fire up the Retro 75. There's the carrier wave, it is unmodulated. Now we're going to increase the output of the tone generator. And we've got a pretty good waveform there, probably about 70. 60 to 70 percent modulated. If we go any higher, we're starting to introduce distortion into the waveform. You notice the peaks are getting more pointed, and we really can't go any higher without distorting the waveform. We're not modulating any fuller, we're actually going back to distortion. So we'll put it where we have no distortion which is about there. And I would say that's probably about 60, maybe 70 percent modulated. And yeah, we turn the tone generator off, go back to the full carrier wave, unmodulated, and then we'll shut off the Retro 75. So the Retro 75 and transmit. There's the inside of the Retro 75 and the RF output transistor is measurably warm. Okay.